One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is my super duper pooper scooper trim cleaner stuff. That ain't what it's gonna be called on the website you go to and click, but that's what I'm saying in this video because this is super duper pooper scooper cleaner trim cleaner stuff from Magoodle. It's awesome. Check this out. This is the before of this car. And you'll see what it does here as we get into this. Now I kind of did a once around a different video. I don't know how I'm editing all this together. I am not Mr. Super Duper Pooper Scooper Editor. I'm Mr. Detail and working on cars making old things look better guy. That's me. And one thing that really gets me about old W123s and old on the Mercedes end and old Volvos like this in the 240 is how this stuff gets. It's just awful. And it makes the whole car look, well, awful. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and just dive right in here. I got a... That's my tripod. So, don't complain. It's just what I'm stuck with at the time. Maybe if I can tilt this. Yeah. Hang on a sec. There we go. Should work. So, you will never need a big old tube like this of it. It's a two-part system, and um, you'll never need anything like that. And first thing you should have is your cleaning product and the brushes and the towel. From there, I'm telling you what, just spray the stuff on. Yours will come with gloves. Well, you don't get it on your little hands. Breeder, stop it! Tinybeagles.com. All you do is scrub it. That's it. Just scrub it. And I'll show you up close to this. But this is the best chemical that you can put over the top of this stuff that you've ever seen. Remember to take that plate off now. Okay. So that half is struck. More than half. And I'm gonna leave part of it just this time. To where I can show overwhelmingly what this does. And hopefully my shirt don't come up too much. And I look all weirded out. Okay, I gotta get water. And I gotta go in it just a trickle. And just spray it off. If you got a power washer, that's even better. Just spray it off. That's it. And this stuff has basically taken off a layer of grime filth and if you leave it on there too long even some of the actual plastic itself from there if this thing is wetter we don't worry about it as much now you can dry apply this too and I did a video dry applying which is a whole different way to do it and just fine as well. But doing this much at a time, and the car is ready to, for a final detail anyways, it's just as easy. Easier. Do it that. And you'll get great results either way on this product. So, I'm going to leave that there, and we're going to our tripod <laughs> so to speak and I'm gonna zoom up on that for you and show you just what it does what a deal what a deal works great for this rubberized coating along the bottom too now I want to show you this up close and personal here. You can see this eating and stripping it off already. 
once you get into this stuff, don't stop. Get it, get it. Now I'm gonna I have to put this camera down to be able to do the, the amount of scrubbage that I want. Okay, back at you and moving towards you. Plain and simple. Now I didn't do the other half of the other side. I waited. Uh, and I just realized that I didn't even wipe down. The other side, the way I'm supposed to. video at the same time. And you can see in the glass video maybe. That's what it does. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other video up here as well. To where you can see straight out. Look at this. That's like a greasy grimy layer on there. And this takes it right off. Um, I'm gonna have to get my hose around there. I wasn't there. I just heard tell it. So. Reader! I don't know if you can see the color of that by now. It's just an entirely different color. That's all there is to say about it. And yes, I am putting my rags on the ground quite a bit. It'd be better if you didn't. But I am. Almost nothing cuts through this bottom level of brine here. So, once you get it scrubbed good and proper, and it is important to keep it even and uniform. Because, look, it even just, I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest here, I'm going too fast to kind of get this done before my battery overheats, and I'm really not taking enough time. It needs to be done better than what I'm doing, uh, by just a little bit. You're still going to get a good result. 
Uh, like I wiped all my stuff off in here. Not actually scrubbing it. And what you should have is a bucket to put this in with some silky water. And you need to work with smaller sections to where the grease comes off better. Plain and simple. So just get it done, wet it down, and then, like I say, if this was, you don't need that much of it, that got a little too wet. I'm gonna use the side. Well, you're not even looking no more. See how you are? Careful, terry cloth out like this will leave little marks. Well, not marks, fibers. There you go. However, I'm here to tell you this trim will make it look like a different car. Like I say, a power wash is even better. But that's the side. And before I do it, I'm gonna go back around and show you the front here. That's what you had before. And here's what you got after. And as you see, there's watermark on that. We'll take all care of that in a minute. So that's your final product. Versus that. Okay, here I am back with you, and we're attacking this portion. And this portion is the worst portion, or it will show the best, I guess, depending on how you look at it. I actually wish I had the other. I want to say tripod, but it's not a tripod, okay? Hang on. Oh! Dump my camera in the pond, I won't be happy. Okay, that's what we're gonna have to work with. Let me grab my thing. <laughs> Get ready for something beautiful. That's all there is to say about it. This is gonna be awesome. Damn air in my sprayer. And with actual burn marks like that on the surface, it's gonna make it sound. And you can go as far as to touch this up a bit. But I honestly prefer. Come on. Do not use any kind of painting. If the end user wants to do that, it's all their prerogative. And if you let this stuff streak on there the way I just did, you can see streaks. So don't let it streak small spots. I guess it would be the thing there because I definitely love that streak on this side. And it comes from trying to work with too big of an area. Huh. I also found a, ooh, too much terry cloth there. Let me show you that. I had to
Yeah, and this will need a little bit of trim paint, bumper coating to make it look correct, or else it just never will. Leave it to me. Go working with a big section again. I just screwed up one side a little bit. That don't stop me. Spray too much on again. You really should work with about probably four times attacking this bumper. It's just too big. Basically, we've done all we can do naturally. And from there, if a guy wants to paint it, we can. I don't like painting on the original cars. So it's not my now, let me show you something about the way the water cuts into this. People don't believe me that these bumpers and this paint absorbs water. So watch. See how the water rolls off that? Nice and easy. Now see that? That part hasn't been done. Right there. Now that was a test spot that I did with stuff without cleaning it. And you can see when you're done, the water beads right up and falls off. This is just the different stages you get. So with that in mind, I'm gonna re-wet this down one final time. And show you this side. It's actually a pain moving my makeshift tripod. Hopefully I didn't Papa. show you. Holy smokes. Oh man, I didn't do the other side. In front of the bumper there. I wanted to show you that. This up close. So you can see it worked out right on this piece. It was just a nice piece for it. If your brush is too hard, you can hurt your chrome. True. So don't get too hard of a brush and tear your trim up. Just a, a cautionary tale there. And in the wash after, this should all come off different. I'm kind of doing it in my hand here. I didn't do this piece, so I'm gonna do it right now. Maybe I did. Second time around the farm, huh? Okay. Now it needs to be rehydrated. Certain parts of this bumper are drier than anything on this car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move this around to try and grab this shot. This part will look really good as well. Thank you.
dirt in there. That is a nice finish. This here is going to be drier and take a little bit more saturation of product, and it all will be on this side. Um, but as you can see, that's what we just got from what I'm going to show you over here. And it will blend better. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And as a matter of fact, you can tell here stuff we did here is a whole different color than the stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Thanks for watching. You'll see the second step in a minute. Well, maybe more in a minute.